Hey guys, Triple V here. We've got some recent card reveals from the new sets coming out in Japan, Snow Hazard and Clayburst. They are shown on Poke Beach, so if you frequent that site, you've probably already seen these. But if you're not so big on reading and prefer to have me read them out to you, let me know in the comments below, because maybe we start doing these card reveals a little more often. Haven't done it before, but if it's something you're interested in, please let me know and hit that thumbs up button just to let me know as well. So these sets are going to likely be included in our June set. It's nice to have a bit of a sneak peek. Also seeing some of the Trainer Gallery cards. Cheeky little Raichu here. Very excited for that one. But we're going to be seeing some filler cards as well. So we'll notice the Relor. 40 HP does 10 damage for a colorless energy. Likely just going to go in your bulk. There is another one with 50 HP that for double colorless, you flip coins until you get tails. And it's going to do 30 damage for each heads that you get. That's kind of fun. And I could see it being a bit of a shenanigans rogue deck or just a... Fun bit of budget to have with your friends. First EX we're going to see though is Chuyu EX. It's first attack, burning envy for one fire energy. You're going to discard the top two cards of your opponent's deck, and it's secondary attack, flame surge for two fire energy, does 100 damage, then choose three of your bench Pokemon and search your deck for a basic fire energy and attach it to each of those. It's going to combo very nicely with the evolution we're going to get of Charcadet that lets you rearrange your fire energy from your Pokemon up to your active. So essentially we can be accelerating out three energy. This is going to have two on it. Rearrange those. We've got five in play. Comboing it with Magma Basin as well. We can do attachment for turn, Magma Basin, switch this into the active, use this attack. It's a great way to accelerate out some fire energy and I could see it being a relevant card in the future. Fire cards, they don't have a lot of great support at the moment, so it'll be interesting to see what we get to go along with this, but definitely a good one or two up to pick up for your collection. Rigibax, though, very excited for this guy. Not so much for him, but what he evolves up into. So we are getting two different ones, both with 60 HP. One has Tackle, Water and a Colorless, 30 damage. Other has the attack Chili, 10 damage, and Bite, 2 Water and a Colorless, 50 damage. Nothing really to write home about. They are going to have a Stage 1 in Arctibax. Again, pretty much here just to evolve up into Bass Caliber. Has the ability Absolute Zero. As often as you like during your turn, you can attach a basic water energy card from your hand to one of your Pokemon. So, sort of like Frostmoth, except not restricted to it being on your bench. And uh, if you played during Deluge Blastoise time, it's basically just that card. It's a solid guy to have, and it's going to combo very nicely with the other EX we're getting in this set. Chin Pao EX. So it has the ability Trembling Cold. Once during your turn, if this is in your active spot, you can search your deck for two basic water energy, reveal them, and put them into your hand. It's a great way to get the energy into your hand to then accelerate out with Baxcalibur. Also combos very nicely with its attack, Hail Blizzard, which is going to do 60 damage for each water energy that you've discarded from your Pokemon. Essentially, get Baxcalibur in play, get this... Brush a bunch of water energy out and do some pretty crazy uncapped damage. The fact that this is a basic Pokemon, also, it's going to combo very nicely with a tool card we're getting in this set. We'll get to that in just a moment, though. We're getting a Pikachu to go along with that Trainer Gallery Raichu I mentioned. Nothing really to write home about. Growl, during your next turn, it takes 20 less damage. Peekabolt, Lightning Colorless, does 30 damage. Kind of just in here for the collection, but very cool artwork we're seeing on there. And then Raichu has the attack Electric Charge for one colorless energy. Search your deck for two basic lightning energy. Attach them to this Pokemon. It's going to set up its secondary attack Thunderbolt very nicely, which for two lightning and a colorless does 200 damage. You do have to discard all energy from this Pokemon, but it's a solid single prize attacker that you can be charging up with Flaffy. 200 damage too, it's pretty nice. You'll hit Weakness into Lugia, which should still be seeing play in even post-rotation. Seems to be single strike format. We're seeing it played in Japan. So it could be a relevant guy to have around for one of your decks. We'll see what comes with it in the future, though. Next up, we've got Rabska. I hope I'm saying that right. So it's going to evolve from that Relor we saw earlier. Has the attack Revival Blessing. Choose a Pokemon from your discard pile, put it onto your bench. It's pretty solid, especially the fact that it doesn't say basic. So you could be putting stage twos into your discard and then cheating them out with this. EXs, Vs, Vstars, Vmaxes. I don't see any restrictions on here, so that would be a cheeky way to get some tech cards kind of onto your bench very quickly. Also has Psybeam, it's going to do 50 damage and confuse your opponent's Pokemon for 2 Psychic Energy. We're also going to get Knackly, it sort of looks like a little Goomba or a Toad Mushroom. Two copies of it in this set. One has Headbutt for a Fighting Energy, 20 damage, the other has Salt Cure. Heal 20 damage from one of your Pokemon and Tackle for 30 damage. 
to fighting. Nothing really right home about, but it is going to evolve up as well. So we get it into Knackle Stack. Salt Cannon, 2 Fighting Energy, flip 3 coins, 60 damage times the number of hits, so potentially 180. It's a fighting type, so you could be using Grant and scaling that up, but it's mostly here just to evolve up into Garganical. Has the ability Bless Salt. During your Pokemon checkup, heal 20 damage from each of your Pokemon. Could see this being a relevant card in the future as well, because between turns healing, that's pretty nice. If your guys are taking some damage from maybe spread, could come up. It's attack knock hammer. It's going to do 130 damage. Discard a card from the top of your opponent's deck. A little bit of cheeky half hitting and some mill. It's a pretty interesting concept there. Next EX we've got is Ting Lu EX. It has the ability Cursed Ground. If this Pokemon's in your active spot, your opponent's Pokemon with damage counters have no abilities. So, sort of like that Clef Key that we've seen, except uh, spread some damage around. Kind of reminds me of a Mimikyu we used to have in uh, past format and very interesting especially since it's on a basic pokemon if you combo this with something like cape jaw bog when your opponent's benching guys they're taking damage counters all of a sudden they have no abilities could really make decks like lost box struggle and then it's attack land scoop does 150 damage put two damage counters on one of your opponent's bench pokemon so a great way to be like hey you know what that guy is not damaged and he has an ability let's change that he is damaged and now he doesn't it's pretty cheeky Next, we do have a Dunsparce in this. It's going to have the attack Find a Friend. You get to search your deck for a Pokemon, pop it into your hand, and then bite for three colorless energy. You can do 50 damage. We did get a new evolution in Scarlet and Violet, though, being to Dunsparce. Has Mud Slap, 30 damage. Also has Sudden Flash for four colorless energy. It does 100 damage and paralyzes your opponent's active Pokemon. You do shuffle this back into your deck, though, but kind of cheeky that you could just be essentially paralyzing locking guys. Interesting ways we could get this set up as well, since you do have Cherum that can accelerate as many grass energy as you like to your non real box Pokemon. We could be running it with this, rush them out to it, bounce it back into the deck. All right, just find those grass energy again, reattach them, maybe combo it with Eldegoss and just have a single prize deck that can be paralyzed locking. Interesting concept to play around with there for sure. We do also get Tandemos. Bit of a fan favorite Pokemon from the new games. Pretty cheeky, has collect, one colorless energy, draw two cards, three colorless energy, slap your opponent for 30 damage. It's going to evolve up into Mouse Hold. Oh, it does actually look like we've got two Tandemouse in here, though. Sorry for skipping past that. This one just does 10 damage for one energy or 20 damage for two energy. Mouse Hold, though, has the attack Slap. You're going to do 50 damage for two colorless or not up three colorless energy. Then put damage counters on each of your opponent's Pokemon equal to the number of Mouse Hold in play. Kind of interesting that it doesn't say your mouse hold in play. I'm not sure if that's a translation error or not. So maybe if your opponent's running the same deck, you're putting eight damage counters on their guys, which if you've got 60 HP, there's six in play, they're all getting knocked out. That could be kind of funny. Could be an interesting spread concept there since it is damage counters and not damage. So you're not going to be blocking that with mana fee and big parasol will be rotating. So it might be a deck concept there. Similarly, you could be charging this up with Cherum or Flaffy, like we talked about for the Dunspar, so it'll be interesting to see what people come up with that. Next EX we're going to see, though, is Squawkabilly EX, sort of reminiscent to Dedenne GX if you played during the Sun and Moon era. On the first turn of the game, you can discard your hand and then draw six cards. You can't use more than one lively draw ability during your turn, so it's a, basically get this ASAP, sort of like Battle VIP Pass, Second turn of the game, it's going to be useless to you, and it is a nice way to cut and balance that out, and then people aren't going to be running four copies of this in their deck and just repeatedly drawing through their entire deck. It's a nice kind of balancing act that TPCI is doing with the game. It does also have the attack energy flow. It's going to do 20 damage, and you get to attach two basic energy cards from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon. Kind of nice that it has a bit of a relevant attack, accelerates some energy out. It'll definitely be a card that becomes a staple in a lot of decks, I feel like. Into the trainer cards though, we are seeing a reprint of Super Rod, which lets you shuffle in any combination of Pokemon and basic energy cards from your discard pile back into your deck. Great way to get some recovery. Didn't seem like we really had a lot of recovery options at the moment, mainly just being Clara, and I think we're getting that new Nurse card in Scarlet and Violet that lets you shuffle five Pokemon back into your deck, so it is good that we're getting it in an item card as well, just to be able to balance things out, so if you lose your Pokemon early or your energy, there is a way to recover them. And the tool card we kind of hinted at earlier is Charm of Courage. If you've seen Cape of Toughness, it's 
pretty much that, except it's not limited to not being able to be used on GXs. You can put this on any basic Pokemon and it's going to give them 50 extra HP. There's going to be some cheeky combinations you can pull off with this, and I'm very excited to see what people come up with. For a supporter, we are getting Grusha. It lets you draw cards until you have 5 cards in your hand, but if you have no energy cards attached to any of your Pokemon, draw until you have 7 instead. It could be interesting for control type decks that aren't typically attaching energy to anything, just to be able to let them get some draw power. Or things where if you've got something knocked out, maybe you're just using this as a follow-up. Instead of attaching for turn, you hold off, use your supporter, and then attach for turn after. Could be an interesting card to play around with. The next trainer card we're going to look at though, if you played during the black and white era, you're going to recognize it similar to a card called N, and you might get a little bit of PTSD, but they have changed it slightly. So each player is going to shuffle their hand and put it on the bottom of their deck, similar to Marnie. Make sure you're not shuffling it into your deck. It may cost you a game or some prize cards. It's a great way to kind of speed up the rate of play though. Instead of having to shuffle your deck entirely, just slip it onto the bottom. I like the way they're balancing that, but then each player is going to draw cards for each of their remaining prize cards. So maybe your opponent's getting a little bit ahead in the game and you need a comeback card. Iona is going to be that comeback card, and this is definitely going to become, I feel like, a four of staple in pretty much every deck moving forward when it's released. So be looking forward to this. You're going to be seeing it for a few years. That's it for what we've got revealed so far, though. There is some aesthetic things though so we're seeing some deck boxes some card sleeves some dividers if that's your thing they are exclusive to japan though so you'd have to find a way to get it imported hope you liked that reveal and if this is something you'd be interested in seeing going forward please let me know in the comments down below and maybe we'll uh keep your eyes peeled for new ones coming out till next time though take care of yourself